Hey, how you doing? My name's Sean, and uh, this is uh, man's best friend, Bear. And uh, we install solar on RVs like this one just behind me here. And today we're putting on a full Victron solar system, uh, 2,000 watts of solar. That's uh, eight 250 watt panels, uh, two SOK 314 amp hour batteries, 12 volt system, probably about as big as I'd recommend you do. <laughs> this guy's just not leaving me alone here. So anyway, we are going to, look at this. He's just sitting on me here. I just decided to start the video this way. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're gonna be putting that together. If you wanna see how it happens, uh, stick around and you might learn something or you could teach us something. Leave a comment down below if you see something that could be better or if you got any questions. Uh, also check us out at sotasolar.com. It's like on my sweatshirt there. Uh, it's short for Minnesota and that's where we're doing work. It's October, it's getting cold. All right, let's get to it. Bear, I can't do much work with you like this. <laughs> Come on, let's get to work. Let's go. So we love working on these fifth wheels. We haven't had a lot of chance to do that this year. We've been working on a lot of Class A's, Airstreams, Class B's, all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's start in here. Here's where we're going to be putting a lot of the equipment. Uh, front compartment here, we're going to take this, a lot of this stuff out, move it. And we are going to put in uh, our own stuff here. So this is coming out. Uh, we're going to try and keep it as close as we can over here because a customer would like to put in a wall here. So we're going to do that or try and make room for that. Uh, oh, and I think I found where the solar pre-wire is if you're looking to do this on your uh, Montana fifth wheel. We've got, uh, I th I'm pretty sure this is it here. This is where the line comes and I'll show you up here. Then uh, in this main pass-through compartment, we're not doing a ton here. Uh, we're gonna be putting the batteries back there. So doing a little bit of a longer run here for some uh, four-aught cabling. But uh, yeah, we'll probably just run that along that drain and uh, water line kind of set there. Uh, but here is where I think the solar pre-wire goes, if anybody's curious. I'm pretty sure one of these comes from the roof and the other one goes to the battery there and you'd put your charger here. The reason why I believe that is because here's a data cable right here where you'd plug that in. So that's what I think is going on there. But we're not gonna use that because we're doing all Victron stuff. <clears throat> then inside here, we've already been investigating. Uh, we're planning to put the display right here. Customer said uh, they would handle putting a back plate here, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, the video cable is probably going to come straight up here into this chaseway behind here. Yes, so this is what factory wiring is like on these RVs. Uh, do I like it? No, but it is the way it is, so we try and work with it. <laughs> yeah, this uh, is the stock. I just pulled this out just to see what was going on behind there. Uh, you do want to be careful that you don't lose any connections back here. I have done it plenty of times. So hoping we can get sneak right back there and it'll come straight down into that compartment down there. I was thinking we might be able to get access to the wall and inner space here by removing this uh, kind of the storage cubby here, but it turns out no. So I can put that back. Um, yeah, and then... Uh, that's about it for this part of it. Look at that, the sun's starting to come out a little bit. It is mid 40, so it's a little chilly for us anyway. It's supposed to get nicer in the next couple of days, so we're planning on doing the solar uh, tomorrow and possibly the day after. Uh, trying to take care of the inside stuff now. Speaking of inside stuff, I got my son Levi, who also works with me. Uh, he's working on the board that's gonna go in that compartment in front. Let's go see how he's uh, coming out there. I'm trusting him. I'm keeping an eye on him too. All right, so here is the board as it stands. Levi's been uh, putting it together. I've had put in my, my thoughts on how this should go together, but we got about 24 inches by about 39 inches to work with. And this is how it's looking. Levi is cutting all the raceway and we're doing something a little bit different here on the solar breakers. We put it all on a din rail here. That makes a little noise. So keep going. Don't okay. don't don't stop on account of us on you. So he's getting the raceway put in there, and that kind of 
tucks all the wires away and makes it look real nice and neat. Mm. And uh, he's got one more to do here. We're gonna do three inch, or no, sorry, two inch raceway here. We're doing three inch here because we do have a uh, HDMI cable that's gotta come out of here and some other stuff. So we need a little bit more room there. Uh, coming up through this tray here, we're gonna have our two sets of 6.3 with ground AC cabling plus the 4 aught cabling as well. So we're gonna have to figure out exactly where that goes, but that's gonna be coming out of through here somewhere. And uh, yeah. And the other thing that we like about doing it on a board like this is even when the weather isn't the greatest, we can do all this work here and get it all programmed, all this wiring, pretty much you just drop it in. And all you gotta do is do your main connection and uh, your main DC connection, everything's wired here, as well as your solar and your AC connections, and that's pretty much it. Oh, the other thing is, uh, oh. We are gonna mount this directly to that, hopefully. There it goes. Perfect. So we're gonna mount this die hole breaker directly to the links. We just uh, shaved a little bit off with the table saw there. It's a nice snug fit. Anything I'm forgetting? I don't think so. Nope, all right. Nice to see you wearing uh, branded merch again. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool enough where he feels like wearing uh, a sweatshirt. Normally, it's a t-shirt and shorts. Yeah, and he, don't worry, come December, I'll be back. All right, he's, he'll be I'm back to shorts. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, I better get to work as well. Hey, I'm uh, pulling out an inverter here and I uh, just wanted to give you a very important message. You see that there? Oh, and there. I don't know about there, but definitely there. There's a washer, possibly a lock washer in between the lug and the terminal. You never want to do that. And that came from the factory. We see this all the time. Oh, I want to share a quick uh, moment that made my heart skip a beat here. <laughs> Uh, I'm putting in a new hole for a second set of solar here. So I got a port to match that one. And uh, I've already figured out where I need to put it. We, I would use the, the tank vent, but I think it's gonna be pretty easy to use this. So I'm gonna go for it. Uh, but <laughs> here's what made me skip a, my heart skip a beat. Uh, I got the door open over here. So there's light coming in. And all of a sudden I see a little glint of light there and I'm like, oh boy, did I somehow go through the entire roof? There should be an attic, but no, nah, it's just some reflectix there. <laughs> but oh man, when I first saw that, I was like, oh boy, what'd I do? Uh, here's what I did do though, check that out. There's a little light down there. I got my endoscope right up the hole I need to get to. So we are absolutely golden here. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, back in the shop here, we're getting uh, the board put together. Levi's been doing most of that. Well, he's been listening to Creed, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Uh, but one of the things we wanted to talk about um, is the shunt setup here. And we're flipping this around. In times past, we always had to basically follow the directions here, which means two system minus and two battery. But as you can tell, things are backwards, where this is system minus and this is gonna to go to the battery. We can do that now because Victron has kindly uh, enabled a setting for us. Levi's gonna demonstrate here. So it's on uh, current measurement direction. He's gonna switch it to reversed. And now it will work in reverse. Ooh. That is a new uh, setting as a firmware 4.19, I believe. And what's nice about that is you can get at these terminals if we needed to. Uh, I think I'm gonna have Levi notch out this little piece of raceway here so we can get at that auxiliary terminal if we wanted to. It's really hard when you put the breaker right here or other components really tight on here. So it just gives you that flexibility. And that's one of the things I really like about Victron is they're always updating the software always improving things, uh, unlike some of the other guys. Yeah, who would do that? <laughs> so this here is our uh, lug polishing or flattening station, I'll call it. And I just wanted to highlight this again here, why we do this. Uh, come on, let's focus on there, there we go. You can see, based on the color differences here, that this thing was not flat before. And now I would say it's pretty darn flat. 
And the reason why we want it flat is because we want the most contact patch available, especially on a 12 volt system, where you could have as much as three or even 400 amps flowing through it. So keep your lugs flat, ladies and gentlemen. I know everybody likes to uh, see some bear footage here. Here he is watching over all the work we're doing. Let's uh, do a little check in on what I've been doing, what Levi's been doing. All right, here is this. Let's go over on this side. I'm in the middle of pulling my 6.4 here. We got this in mounted. We got our solar connected here. We've got uh, our solar line that we pulled and the factory line as well that ended up out here. We tested that to make sure that was correct. Um, so yeah, we got all this in there. I did have to notch out that corner there to get around that pipe just to try and get this f as far over as I could. And we're gonna be relocating all of these uh, thermal breakers to this HTPE plate I cut and uh, fastened to the side there. If we take a look, ah, let's go around this side. So if we take a look around this side here, you can see we got our mess of wires there, we got DC solar hdmi and we're gonna have and we've got six four up there so we're gonna tidy all those up but those are going back here and that's where we've got the batteries back in there and uh once again in here we've got uh our touch screen there uh about ready to button that up all we have to do here is just steal some positive, it looks like we got one open Wago there, so we'll steal some positive from there. And the white, remember, is negative, and it looks like there's one open position there, so we will steal some power there, and then we'll be good to power the screen. Believe it or not, this is actually not that far away from being done. Uh, I'm always careful to not jump the gun on that too much uh, to JD and uh, Levi's annoyment, or annoying, I annoy them when I say, oh, let's not say we're almost done just yet, but I think we are actually pretty close. Let's go take a look uh, up on the roof and see exactly how the solar is coming together. Tell you what, Levi is doing a great job. I was expecting him to actually find him up here. Um, this is all done. We've got eight panels up here. One, two. Uh, looks like he might have done a little bit different than I was originally thinking, but it's not bad. I'm all right with this. So it looks like we ended up doing uh, one, two, three, four. That's probably not gonna be too bad. So basically, and then uh, one, two, three, four, with those together. So yeah, I think we're about good to go here. Just got a little things to clean up maybe. Uh, uh, what is this from? I don't know. All right, big moment here. Um, I just actually turned the system on and connected it to battery. And I did want to highlight here that we have an opportunity to highlight why we like putting those LED adapters in the Lynx distributor. So it shows we've got one blown fuse. The power indicator here says there's a problem. This one, this light shows where the problem is. However, it's probably not really a problem. I don't have that one fully out. We just don't have a fuse in there. So remember, no fuse is no different than having a blown fuse. So we're gonna add a fuse there and that is gonna be the connection that we'll tie into the rest of this with, but I need to get those breakers mounted to that board and then we can tie into the rest of the system. Hey, hey, we've got a servo screen that's working. Uh, here's where I hooked in that little uh, we use these all the time, especially on these seven inch screens, rather than an eight or rather than a USB extension to the servo because it can't deliver enough power that far away. So we use one of these guys and we just tap into again that oh this is a mess, but I'm trying to work with it. Um I also want to mention a little problem I ran into here is the touch doesn't work, right? Because I just plugged in power. If that happens, what you want to do is uh well See if we can't figure out where the, there it is. Oh, I already taped it together. All right. Well, in this case, we're going to have to do something different. Basically, if your touchscreen doesn't work, reboot the system. That's the easiest way to go about it. That's what I'm going to do. 
Uh, but if next best, unplug the HDMI, plug the HDMI back in, and that'll work. If it still doesn't work, if you get other issues, unplug the USB side. But again, uh, rebooting the entire system, like almost any computer system, fixes 99% of your problems. All right, we're back fresh from a reboot. Let's see if that worked. And it did. Hot dog. And that's how you do it. Oh, uh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What does it say up here? Starting the solar revolution. Jaboni. Levi. They beat us. They no. beat They beat us to it. No. We got a close up shop. All right. Close it up there. We're done. We're done. Jaboni, Jaboni beat us to it. We're, we're out. We're done. How about that beautiful bear? Beautiful bear footage. There it is. All right, customers showing up here soon, bear. What are we going to do? That's right. Customers coming. We are pretty much done with this. Actually, we're all the way done. Uh, let's show you the finer points of, uh, what we put together and, uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions down below. Love to hear from you. All right, let's get to it. All right, here is everything in the bay. All nice and neat, tidied up. Uh, I think we're gonna start putting these labels on the equipment so you can figure out the uh, codes and all of that a little bit easier for connecting the Bluetooth. But that's all working. System's been running for a while. We've been running the heat pump and uh, it's looking pretty good. This compartment's big enough. I don't think we need to ventilate, but we'll see. So that's going pretty good there. All right, this compartment's all buttoned up. Like I said, the batteries are back there. Uh, we ran a thermal camera on it. Everything's looking good. I'm looking for on the thermals. I'm trying to stay within 10 to 20 degrees above ambient. As it gets warmer, that does get a little bit more. I like to stay under about 120 degrees on everything. Basically, if you if you can't keep your hand on it for more than, a, you know, ideally you should be able to keep your hand on it for as long as you want. It just gets a little warm. But if you can't keep your hand on something, I would say that's too hot. Oh, uh, and again, here's inside. We are losing solar now that it's getting later on in the day, uh, but we are running a heat pump. And yeah, we're down to about 82%, but we were at 100% earlier. So that is pretty darn good. I like it. It's gonna be getting cold here. If you're looking to have this kind of work done, check out our website, sotasolar.com, and uh, you can fill out a form there see what we're all about and you can get the work done either here in our shop or if you're getting away from the snow that we're going to have incoming shortly you can uh, check out our uh, quartzite arizona location the jd runs and uh, he can help you out there so all right stay charged have fun we'll see you later bye